coach, what did he tell you about the competition? That it's it's still up for grabs going into Monday night. I uh, just told me that we were just like, we just talked about what the schedule was going to be like going into the game on uh, on Monday. How how we were going to alternate, how we we're going to rotate and stuff. And I think we we're just going to see how how both of us play. Any disappointment in not being named the starter for this game? I'm I'm taking the same approach that I had the past past uh, three weeks of camp. Do you think you have an even chance, a 50-50 chance of winning the job? I mean, I don't, I don't know the exact percentage chances of it, but I mean, I think from what Coach Petton and everybody has stated from the very beginning, they, they said it was an equal open competition. I don't think that's changed. Do you look at this game Monday night as crucial? I look at this game Monday night as my second game that I've got to play in my career, and it's a preseason game that I need to go out and, and move the ball down the field. How do you think you've progressed even since that uh, Detroit game? Better. I've got another another week of practice, another um, a lot of opportunities to get better in practice and, and get more familiar with the with the playbook in certain plays. So continuing to get better. Coach said he wants to make this starter decision on Tuesday. Is it tough not to do too much on Monday? Not to try to do too much? Yeah, I think it's just go out and, and play football. I mean, we've done all the preparation we need going into the game up to that point. When when the game comes, it's go out and, and, and play football like we've been doing our entire lives. Do you thrive in these pressure type situations? I don't think there's any pressure for me. I think it's, I mean, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still, this is my second game. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, my expectations aren't, aren't through the roof. It's go out and compete extremely hard, be a leader for those guys, whatever whatever group I'm with, and, and we'll see what happens. Johnny, the defense you would be seeing now, obviously Pittsburgh in week one, they can give a place to Joe Stanley, you saw in college. Are you ready for that? What you're going to see from defenses in the NFL? I don't think I'm ready for Pittsburgh right, right now. I mean, I don't. I, I've only played one game, but um, I mean, the more and more you see it, the more you get familiar with it. I think um, the better it'll be. I think there's guys who have played in this league for a long time who can sit there after years and years of, of playing games and still don't have it all figured out. I mean, it's it's tricky stuff, but at the same time, um, we're doing things on offense to try and throw them off their throw them off their guard as well. You think you could get ready for Pittsburgh Yeah, I mean, that's not saying that I'm not ready or I won't be ready. I don't want that taken out of context. It's just right now, second preseason game, I'm not ready to go out and start week one because there's a lot of time left until that point. So um, for me, there's plenty of weeks left for me to learn. Preseason games to see the speed, get adapted to the speed. And then um, if, if I was a starter for Pittsburgh for week one, you have to be ready. You have to be ready for week one. It's, a, it's the opening week of the season. It's a big game. Has this Johnny, what your teammates yesterday were talking about how well you're going through your progressions. Do you feel that? Like, do you feel like I'm making reads in a way I never did before? Uh, no, I think I just um, there's a, there's a lot more structure on the reads than, than what I was used to. Um, a lot of times in college it was pick a side one two. Now we can work from across the field. Different looks can get us into different reads. So um, it's more complex, more detailed, um, but I like it. Johnny. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury's play sheet from when he beat Alabama showed up on the internet. He, he shared it. And then we heard from Coach Loggins that 17 play, word play calls here. So what's been the balance between those five and seven word play calls and you getting comfortable with, with this language? Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Um, it's a process. Um, I've had to, to get used to the directions of going left and right and um, a keeper and, and to a, another guy coming across. So it's, it's, um, it's like learning Spanish, really. Uh, for the first few weeks, but now getting into it, I'm able to paint a picture of the play in my head as it said and really um, progress and get better. And, and that's what Kyle and, and Coach Logan have said from the very beginning, that the more and more you do it, the more and more you get comfortable with it. So when you're in a break, keep saying it, keep saying it, um, keep telling it to yourself and eventually you throw, it, throw it throw the wall enough times it'll stick. John, you and uh, Brian and all the quarterbacks have had inconsistencies with the receivers. A lot of drop passes. Is it hard to, to go back to that guy when he, when he dropped one on the throw before? I don't think so. I think, uh, I think we have a lot of confidence in these guys, and these guys are out here working extremely hard for us to haul the ball in and, and move it down the field. So uh, I, I think those guys, they obviously know and they, they've they had a drop, and there's times where we, Brian, Rex, and, and Connor need to get them a better ball as well. So um, it's a joint relationship there that we have to be better at, and they have to be better at as well. And that's what we're trying to do every day is get better at that. Have you started picking Rex Grossman's brain at all since he's been in this offense for five years? I've been in the offense a while. I think he's a guy that can come in and, and be a mentor for everybody in the room. A guy that's extremely familiar with uh, with this offense, with Kyle, with with how things go throughout a season, um, and having a young guy and two young guys in there as well in Washington. So um, just little subtle things throughout the day, but I'm sure it'll pick up as we continue to go on through how, camp. How important is it to, to 
get in the end zone. Yeah, I mean, that's what we need to do. I mean, we haven't done it yet, so that's what we need to do. That's the goal for every every group that's out there. Is it, true, I'm sorry, is it true that you were late for a team meeting? And if so, how do you think that impacted you not starting this game? I personally don't think it had any uh, decision on on going into this week. I uh, was I misread the schedule on Monday. Um, so I think we had to come in at 7.30, and it was the only day that we uh, have had to come in at that time throughout camp. And I think I ended up, you know, I was on time for my, uh, for what I thought was our normal 8.15 meeting time. So um, it was just a misinterpretation, mis misreading in the schedule. And um, I sat down with Coach Petten and, and talked to him, and we handled it, and, and, and we've moved on. So um, obviously something, I just need to do a better job of reading the schedule than I before, but it was an honest mistake and something I need to, to learn from and make sure it doesn't happen again. John, have you, have you done any of the funny rookie stuff yet? Have you sung? Have they made you do anything? We have a rookie show today, so I'm sure. Oh, what do you guys plan? A little interesting. I don't <laughs> me and uh, Me and Connor shall have a little something planned, so it should be a good time. Just go up there and uh, just try to make these guys laugh a little bit. Hey, John, Drake you coming in? Whether it's you or Brian, how important is it for this organization to get behind oh. one of you two guys real soon? No, I think we just need to continue to get familiar with our offense, continue to get familiar with the personnel that we have out there, and, and just match more than anything. And I think, obviously, that makes it a little easier when you know who the, who the starter is going to be week one. But at the same time, um, things happen throughout a season where, where a guy goes down, another guy's got to come in. So adversity happens throughout the season. Injuries happen. So um, I think whenever the starter's named, I think we'll, we'll have an, an idea of, of how the match is going to be and continuing to, to build that. But it's always... It's always something that's ongoing throughout the season. Yes, sir. You came don't in feel here. the pressure Monday night, but you see all these little kids in your jersey. You know how this city is so excited for you. Is there pressure for that? Like this city expects you to be the savior? No. Uh, I, I don't look at it as I was drafted to come in day one and, and save the franchise. Save. I mean, I think when I got drafted from the top, from Ray Farmer to everybody that's involved in this organization, that they had a plan for me and, and that they want me to be successful. And, Whenever that is, um, I, I feel like my future is here, and they, and they brought me in to, to hopefully be the future down the road one day. So for me, there's, there's no pressure. There's, there's no timetable. It's continue to develop as a football player.